Okay, let's make a review today. Which watch shall I choose from this line? Any mini more? <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. You know what? You know what? Let's just get this Pagani done. Let's get it done and over with. Because I do have a problem with this watch, so I just want to get it out of the way. Okay, first of all, let me take off my lovely Casio. This is, this is the best watch ever. I'm telling you. I always come back to this watch once I'm done playing with my new toys. I'll be back to you soon. Be good. Now, this beast of a watch. Hello YouTube people. So what's the big problem with this watch? What's the mistake? To be honest, if I knew I wouldn't have bought this watch, but I didn't know, sadly. So the big problem is the printing mistake on the chronograph subdial. Instead of 60 minutes, it counts towards 30 minutes. While the movement inside on that particular chronograph subdial actually goes up to 60 minutes. So it's a rather big printing mistake. And I did ask Pagan Design what's up with that. Are you going to make version 2? And they said, of course, my friend. Thank you very much for your suggestion. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. But I still bought this watch. So that doesn't change the fact that I'm kind of a little bit, you know, disappointed with this watch. Anyway, this watch is way too big for my wrist. Why have I bought such a big watch <laughs> for my skinny wrist? Uh, it was AliExpress 1111 sale. Yeah, you know how that goes. So anyway, I just bought this watch just as a toy to have some fun and make this review. And to be honest, I'm, because of this chronograph subdial, it, it killed all the fun for me, honestly. I just, I'm forcing myself to make this review, to make, to get this watch out of the way, get it done, sell it for whatever I can get for this watch and forget it. It's just, it really gets on my nerves. How can you make such a mistake on a print, on a chronograph subdial? It's just, what? I mean, Pagan Design shot themselves in the foot right now. I mean, they hurt their face on the internet, to be honest. Next time, when there is a new release of a new watch, people are gonna be afraid to buy it. People are gonna wait for stupid YouTubers like me to buy the watch and do the review first, so they can see if it is any good at all. So they aren't gonna trust Pagan Design anymore. There is new watch released, are you gonna press buy on that watch? You're gonna be scared now. I'm Me too, I'm just gonna wait for other people to do a review on that watch, to see what's up, what mistakes, and maybe I'm just gonna wait for version 2 next time. So that's a big mistake, that's a big mistake. Well, oh well, anyway, let's move on with the review. <laughs> Well, with the negativity aside, let's just take a look at this beautiful watch on its original strap. This original strap is actually very good quality, it has just a few problems which I will show you later on. But the watch itself, I mean it's a thing of beauty, those silver chronograph subdials popping out in the view is just so beautiful to my eyes. It's a very cool looking watch in my opinion. I think this watch looks better on this brown leather strap. I will put the link in the description to this leather strap. Quality is pretty good and looks very nice on many watches. And this one is just makes this watch a little bit more alive in my opinion. And I like those white stitches on sides, how they look together with a pilot style watch. I think it fits the character of, the, of this watch very well. It's such a beautiful timepiece. <laughs> It's such a shame it has this printing mistake. So what is the problem with this original strap I have mentioned you? First of all, this watch is meant obviously for way larger wrists than mine. But me on my skinny 16.5 cm wrist Look, I'm basically in the middle and there isn't really that much of a strap left. I mean, there is quite a bit, but once you get it, you know, a little bit towards the end, it looks a little bit awkward because there isn't really much of a strap left and it's just, you know, doesn't look right for some reason. I really wish there was a little bit more of the strap because if you have proper size wrists, so which would be something like there, yeah, not much of a strap left. So that's the first problem. Another thing is that this 
place of the strap this edge is a little bit irritating on this super sensitive skin on this part of the wrist so yeah but other than that the strap feels very well made it's a very robust it looks like it's gonna last a long time it's just a little bit stiff initially but i'm sure it it would wear in and it looks really beautiful those white stitches together with this black and white watch very well done sign buckle as well i never give that much of attention to the straps of a watch but i mean just look on the inside pagan design all the stitching the amount of rubber on the sides of those straps it looks like it's really made to last i don't know if it will but at least it looks like pagan shield all the stitching is looks like yeah it looks really robust now i just wanted to give you one extra shot how this watch looks like on brown leather straps i mean it plays out so nicely let's put it on the wrist okay just one more shot on the wrist that's all i already showed you but this time it's different light Let's take a better look at the watch itself. How is the finishing on the case? On the bottom, those edges are super sharp. It's like raw cut metal without any finishing on the edge whatsoever. Very, very sharp edges. Ends of the lugs are pretty sharp. The inside of the lugs are sh as sharp as they can get. Basically no finishing whatsoever. It's just raw cut metal. But everything else is fine can't really complain about anything else on the case nicely done i like this shiny tiny bezel this sapphire crystal slightly domed looks actually very beautiful on on slight edge very nice i love this blue anti-reflective coating it makes this watch just more alive it looks very beautiful on this particular watch and the problem is the top subdial of chronograph it counts up to 30 minutes while in fact this movement actually goes up to 60 minutes oh well oh well okay let's stop the chronograph let's reset well it jumps nicely back in place anyway let's take a look at the crown action this is screw down crown feels wonderful screws screws in and back very nicely very slow ratio super nice super nice crown action let's place it on 45 minutes stays in place really nice can't really complain pushers feel nice as well they have clicky feedback very nice clicky feedback everything is just so beautiful so just just few problems printing on the dial bottom edges on the case and ends of the lug are pretty sharp other than that this is wonderful watch this watch has better loom than on any other pagani design watch i have ever seen but it is still not very strong it actually fades out rather quickly Okay, let's get the conclusions done for this watch. Where does it go on my website? ThomasWatchReviews.com Where I rate watches into different tier lists. This watch goes straight into Nope tier. 